From September 2nd through 11th, Juan Pablo Bohoslavsky, an independent expert working with the United Nations on foreign debt and human rights, visited Mongolia at the invitation of the government of Mongolia. The purpose of his visit was to identify good practices, challenges and potential gaps in human rights through the collection of first-hand information and to examine the range of Mongolia's economic, financial and fiscal issues from a human rights perspective. During his 10-day visit, Bohoslavsky worked with people from government, quasi-government and non-governmental organizations as well as academia and businesses in order to assess Mongolia's foreign debt and macroeconomic policies from a human rights perspective. His work also focused on understanding current policies on the mineral industry and how they influence the country's sustainable development, studying measures taken by the government of Mongolia in recent years to prevent informal fiscal transactions and analyzing foreign loans and direct investment in infrastructure and minerals in terms of their impacts on human rights. At the end of his visit, Mr. Bohoslavsky issued a statement and recommendations that he believes are vital to a better future for Mongolia's government, civil society, and businesses. According to Mr. Bohoslavsky's previous reports to the United Nations General Assembly on the issues of economic policies and human rights, more than two-thirds of countries around the world are designing and implementing austerity measures in efforts to improve their economic conditions. The negative impact of such measures is often greater and harder on people in situations of economic vulnerability, such as women. In addition, he notes that women's contributions to the economy, such as unpaid domestic and care work, are often unnoticed or underappreciated by economic policymakers. As a result, spending cut policies negatively influence the quality of well-being of women and their families, which hurts society at large.